Hey everyone, welcome to my first devlog for my 2D adventure game. In today's video, I will be showing you some of the progress I've made on programming the character and enemy health system, creating placeholder art for the character, and creating a simple tile map for the environment. So stick around. First up, I've been working on programming the character and a basic enemy health system. I've implemented movement controls for the character and added a simple health system for the enemies. When the character attacks an enemy, their health will decrease and they'll be defeated once their health reaches zero. Here's a quick look of the character and enemy health system in action. As you can see, the character is able to move around and attack the enemy, causing their health to decrease. There isn't an animation for it, but I will work on that in the next episode. This is just a placeholder for now, since I don't need an enemy to start working on player functions in the near future. Next, I've been working on creating some placeholder art for the character. I'm still in the early stages of development, so I wanted to create some simple art to use as a placeholder while I work on the final designs. Here's a preview of the placeholder art I've created for the character. As you can see, it's a simple design, but it gives me a good idea of how the character will look in the game. I am also on the fence of keeping this design since I am not very good at art and to me it looks decent, but leave a comment and let me know what you think. Finally, I've been working on creating a simple tile map for the environment. I'm using a sprite to create all of the assets, then I use Unreal Engine's 2D tile map tools to design the ground and other elements of the environment that the character will be able to interact with. Here's a preview of the simple tile map I've created for the environment. As you can see, it's still a work in progress, but it's starting to come together. The character is able to walk around on the ground and interact with other elements of the environment as they progress through the game. Well, that's it for today's devlog. I hope you enjoyed getting a look at some of the progress I made on my 2D adventure game. I know it isn't much, and I will have a lot more done in the next video. I was just on a time constraint. However, stay tuned for more updates in the near future, and leave a like and subscribe so you do not miss them. Bye-bye.